Today we're going to be converting this uh, natural gas stove to run off of propane in our off-grid cabin. Um, this is a Premier, that's the brand, and this is their 20 inch model. And the cool thing about this stove is it uses a small battery pack in here for the igniter. So, you know, it doesn't have a clock, timer, or anything like that on it. So you do not need to plug this into the wall. Um, it's freestanding and it's perfect for cabins. Um, anyways, there's four steps that we're going to show you how to do to convert this from running off natural gas to be able to run off of our five gallon propane tank. Okay, first step is we're going to take the burners off. And then we're going to need to remove this whole top plate and it's pretty simple. Just get your fingers in there, it kind of pops off. And then lift the front up and pull the whole thing off. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to switch the regulator, which if you come in is right here. We're going to switch that over. It's, it's going to be set up right now to run natural gas and we're going to switch it over to the propane. So take a pair of pliers and this comes off really easy. Okay, loosen that and it comes off real easy with your fingers. And I don't know if you're going to be able to pick that in the camera, but it should say NAT. Okay, so all you're going to do here is pop out the plunger and just pull the side. It comes out really easy. Flip it upside down and it'll snap right in. Now you're set up for propane. Okay, now you're just going to take the plunger and put it back in the regulator. Finger tight and then give it a small bit of snug. And that step's complete. Okay, so the next step is each one of these burners, there's two here, two here, has this nut um, that needs to be snugged in all the way against the valve. And to do that, you take a half inch wrench and you rotate it counterclockwise from where you're standing. and you want it so it's sitting flush against this valve. And we're gonna go ahead and do the next three. Okay, we've got all four of these nuts tightened against the valves um, as tight as they can go. Um, next step, we're gonna jump to the thermostat for the oven. Okay, so this is the thermostat for the oven, and that's the next part we're going to be converting over to run off the propane. So if you come down to the front here, first thing you want to do is remove the knob for the oven, and you are going to access a screw in there through that hole. You can barely see it there. And what you want to do is get a really small flathead screwdriver, and you want to turn it clockwise until it stops. And it'll go about two turns. And get it snugged down. And then since we did that, um, you now need to adjust the flame on your pilot light. And let me show you how to do that. Okay, so now we need to adjust the pilot light um, on the oven. So let's come on in here. You want to remove your rack. And then you want to And then this last baffle just takes one wing nut, and that pops off. And basically all we're doing um, right now is we want to be able to see this right here. And that's going to be your pilot light. So we have the propane hooked up, we're going to fire up the pilot, and um, basically you want the flame to, it's going to come out here, and you don't want it to go any higher than that right there, that's called the safety probe. And to adjust that, we're gonna come back up to um, where we just screwed in that screw um, for the thermostat. On the left hand side, there's another screw, and that's gonna adjust the, the height of the pilot light. So let's first look, get that lit. Okay, 
Okay, we're gonna put our knob back on. The best thing we do is you just hit the pilot. Okay, so the pilot's lit. As soon as it lights, you wanna hold this knob in for about 10 seconds. And then we'll release it and use, you know, make sure it stays lit. Okay, so you can see our flame is um, way too big. So I'm gonna pull off our knob and I'm gonna get on that little screw and let's adjust it to the right. Oh, a little too far. So you want it to be just right there. Just coming to the top of that little safety prong. So we're gonna put our knob back on. Go ahead and shut it off, and that step's complete. Okay, this is step four, the last step. Uh, we're almost there. Um, you're gonna access the broiler, and I took the broiler pan, pan out, and then to get the whole drawer out, you wanna lift up. When you're almost in, pull it out. Set it aside, and I don't know if you're gonna be able to see in there, but that is called the um, orifice. And it's um, basically just right in the back underneath the broiler is where it sits. And kind of the same thing we did with the burners when we tighten those um, four bolts all the way down clockwise. We're going to do that same thing with that copper bolt. We're going to turn it clockwise until it's snugged all the way down. And same thing, just a half inch wrench. Okay, we have that copper nut snug down, um, turning it clockwise until it was nice and snug. And that's it. Only thing left to do is put everything back together and fire it up and see if it works. This goes back on the same way you took it off. Pop it in. Okay, let's see if these burners work. Okay, it's high. Down to low. And propane's awesome because it burns a lot hotter than natural gas. And you're gonna get stoves like this that run off propane in like RVs and tiny houses and stuff like that. So this propane boils water really fast. All right, let's see if we get this oven to turn on. So um, first you wanna do is you get it to pilot. I just heard it engage, and you can see the fl flames coming out down at the bottom. So, let's see. Cool. Cool. So, this is the 20 inch model, and Premier they offer them 20 inch, 24 inch, and a 30 inch. And 30 inch is going to be your standard um, width for a stove. And um, basically what we have hooked up right now is we just have a regular regulator and you know your normal barbecue style propane hose hooked up to the stove and then just to our five gallon um, propane tank for now. And then um, next summer when uh, we're working on projects again, we're going to run this line outside to maybe a 100 pound or 120 pound propane tank. But for now, we're just gonna keep this one kind of further away and then we also, when you're running propane, like these stoves and our lantern and our water heater that we're gonna put in, you wanna have a carbon monoxide um, detector for sure. And we got one upstairs because that tends to rise. Anyways, um, we're pretty happy with this stove and that's it. Thanks for watching.